Hi, I'm Leisha Barnes with Milady. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this presentation. I'm going to share a tip or two with you to help make your day a little bit easier in the classroom. I hope you enjoy. Everybody has a unique learning style. They have a unique way of learning. We refer to that as a learning style or a learning intelligence. That is defined as a means an individual favors or their preferred method of thinking, understanding, and processing information. For example, if you're teaching bacteriology, infection control, some students would prefer to listen to you, listen to a lecture, while others would prefer to research and study the information on their own. Other students might prefer to watch a video, while others would prefer to actually get up, laboratory setting, and discover for themselves what it all means. When our students have difficulties learning what we are teaching, it is most likely because they are processing the information outside of their natural learning style. It is believed that 75% of teachers today present material in a sequential analytical manner, while as little as 10% of our students actually learn most effectively that way. Research tells us that we must integrate teaching strategies that meet the needs of a more multicultural student body with a variety of learning styles. Today's classrooms are filled with students who possess a variety of learning styles. No two learners are alike. They are all different. Each one is going to learn differently at a different pace. Some will get it quick, some won't. Some will grasp one thing, others will be challenged. Some will like one activity, others will like something else. We must respect the differences in our students and work to reach each one of them individually. A great deal of research has been conducted with respect to a learning style and a learning intelligence. There are various learning profiles that you can consider. Many are similar, others are quite different. One of these profiles that I'm referring to is called a sensory learning style. You've probably seen this one before. Sensory learning indicates that 35% of the people are mainly visual learners, 25% are auditory learners, and 40% are kinesthetic. A visual learner, for example, will process information through what they see. They tend to think in pictures. They have vivid imaginations. They need to see it. Videos, demos, PowerPoints, PowerPoints with pictures specifically, the textbook with pictures. You could use visualization activities with them. Anything that allows them to visualize or see the information you're talking about. The auditory learner, on the other hand, they are going to process information through what they hear. They're going to want to listen to the lecture. They want to talk things through. This student loves lecture. They enjoy hearing what you have to say. Group discussions, partner shares are both great activities for the auditory learner. Even a video that has audio on it is great for this learner. And then the kinesthetic learner is going to process information by physical experiences of doing and touching. They feel like they need to manipulate things for themselves. They prefer to be involved physically and they may not be great listeners. Let's face it, 40% of our students, probably more in our industry, fall into this category. We can find ways to have them experience the kinesthetic learning even during a lecture by having them mind map or window paint on a marker board. They could do a puzzle or activity on their phones through Milady's Mind Tap. Working on the phone or the tablet is using their hands. Anything that gets them working with their hands will engage them. Now this is just a really quick look at sensory learning. In addition to this concept, Dr. Benice McCarthy has a concept called format cycle of learning. And then there is Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence, multiple learning intelligences. If you are interested in learning more about these two other methods and even more on the sensory method, we have a three-part Master Educator webinar series called Multiple Methods for Multiple Intelligences. This will give you more information on the various learning styles and how to reach each one of them in your classrooms. If you have any questions about Milady's Master Educator online instructor training classes, please feel free to email us at info at